when you interview celebrities, you will get all types. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes you have to, you, you feel like you're treading on eggshells. Oh, uh, and it's know, some, some people are just hard to talk yeah. to, but yeah. these people, so real. I mean, even we were saying, you guys, you're normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for the message. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. So, what's up next? Okay. Um, Side note, we're finally on Facebook Live. Oh. Uh, so, facebook.com slash rx931 if you want to catch the last few minutes. Of Thank you to Lexi. Thank you to Lexi. Lexi, the daily Lexi the sexy. 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 Oh. <laughs> right. Um, okay, I think that... Uh, should I play my song now or later in the last Later, ba? That's your last one. Oh, later. I think after we say goodbye, that's what we get. Tuloy na din. Okay, all right. Nine thirty on the clock. Let me do this properly. Monster RX 93.1, time for the top 10 for today. Of course, we are doing the top 10. Yung totoo del. Let's start off with... Okay. Uh, I can do it, I can do it. Okay, are you are you ready? Yes, uh, pero you want to read something? Just one. If you have from, something, go. Um, one of the people who used to work here, actually, Kenneth. I just put oh. it in. Sabi niya lang, yung mas nakikinig pa ako sa kanila kesa sa prof ko habang nasa klase. <laughs> Ganong level ang kaadigan ko oh, sa kanila. Then I got the chance to work with them. Thankful and honored. I wish you all the best, Del. God bless you and your family. Oh, thank you, Kenneth. Sobrang bait. Grabe. Oh, oh. Roswell Batusay was just saying, yung totoo, Del, it's not a question. It's more like a statement. Yung totoo, Del, sobrang dami mong napasaya. Pero feeling ko, Mas marami ka ngayong pinaluha. Oo nga eh. Diba, this is, <laughs> yeah. uh, like we talked about on Monday, parang this seems to be the, uh, when, when you bring so much joy, when you leave, Shepard, you bring a lot of, yeah. you know. And um, coming from Testing Teddy, when you first met Gino, did you say to yourself, Oh God, another diva. <laughs> <laughs> Sino to? <laughs> to Testing Teddy. And saka, also from Testing Teddy, first look mo kay Gino. Yung totoo din. Did you suspect? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <coughs> no, because the first time I saw you was in the finals of Radio Idol. Yeah. Diba? We Shiny were at Metro Walk. Yeah. Uh, we were at Metro Walk. Shiny and then, tight pants. But people were already talking about the leading contestants, yeah. mm-hmm. buying the contenders and, and everybody. Because even the bosses were saying all the jobs have to cast their votes. Yeah. So a lot of people were saying, I choose this, yeah. I choose him, I choose her, ganyan. <laughs> and then, ako naman, um, I didn't really think much of it. Because uh, I knew that uh, the people in the afternoon were more aware of the challenges that you guys were going yeah. through. So they would know better. Yeah. It's when you started now with Brand that I got to know you better. And not personally, yeah. it was on air. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the person really happened like more uh, late nights. Yun. <laughs> but the, the real, you know, the real getting. Because we hardly said a word to each other yeah. before the morning rush. Talaga, de ba? We just say hi. I mean, we would see each other during Christmas parties, uh, uh, meetings, meetings. Uh, yeah. but nothing. Yeah, okay. No, I really when I first uh, got into like, RX, really tough and really I really when I saw Chico, I was like, "Wow, who's this punk rocker?" No, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> may piercing, pa sa eyebrow, tapos nakabati cargo pants. Sabi niya, did I just meet Joan Jet? Sabi sabi ng mga young young people, sino si Joan Jet? Tapos nuna ko sa nakayot na kausap, besh. Uh, also from uh, Yogi Bench, yung totoo del, sasali kayo ni Tyler sa Amazing Race Asia, no? <laughs> <laughs> when he wants to do that. that and also, fun, it's really a fun show. But the yeah. Yeah. I think it, it stretches like your patience. Your patience, no, 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 no. I've seen, I've seen yeah. couples yeah. fight like anything. Yeah. Break up, even. Uh, Jigs. 24 says, Totoo ba na kinukuha ka ng bubble gang para magsulat ng jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Merong rumors eh. Okay. May rumors eh. Kinakabahan na nga si Bitoy. Nakabahan na siya. Sabi niya, ito na ba ang kapalit ko? 
Clayton Mr. Robot says, if any of your two kids decide to have a career in radio, would you approve? Only, only certain conditions. Yeah, under certain conditions. Under certain conditions, because it's their life. Yes. And as much, in as much as I'm their parent, it's their life. And at a certain age, they need to roam and experience the world without me. I know this. Because like you, all four of us, and even the people in the booth. There was a there was a time in your life that you were trying to get away from your parents because yeah. you need maybe not consciously but you were going out into the world and you needed to be just you so I think for me they need to be who they are they are men yeah so and they will make their own decisions but I just dread what Cooper or Parker has to say about me on that show mm -hmm. oh, that's true oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming from testing Teddy Saan mo pa kukunin ang crazy and immature after you leave the show? Right? Well, it's more, yeah, it's more like a statement. I I'm miss sure, it, no. I'm sure you'll find your own crazy and immature. I, I think more than anything, I'll miss the laughing. Yeah. The laughing, yeah. I don't think we understand how much we laugh Even every off day air. of our lives. And at the very start of the day. <laughs> the very start yeah, of the day. That's true, that's how it was not. <laughs> oh, hindi ko na alam, like, how, it, how will my life be without that? That laughter, uh, so it will be hard for me to listen. Yeah. Because I will want to be like, and also uh, uh, I want to say something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. I think there's a there's a moment where I just need to get over the breakup. <laughs> um, late and Mister Robot says, "Sa tingin mo ba lumalim na yung emotional depth ni Gino since he joined the show?" Hindi <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't I, 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 no, I think that's a no. I don't know. What I, do I know about this people? I don't know. 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 I don't Alone. I don't know. Ah, really? Like when you go to the mall and you eat out, do you ever like hold hands? I don't know. Are you the type of person that like looks for like, you know, hands? Because some people are like that. Like you're walking and then you just feel the need to like, you know, hold hands. Or some people are okay to like, walking and then you know, hold hands. Hmm. I don't know. Because, um... I'm not very PDA. Ish. Because I think when, when we're in private, we are very, we reach for each other. Sometimes we don't want to be together. Yes. But that's the whole point of ano, eh, PDA, eh, that you do it in public. Uh -oh. that Chaka, it's how you act in public. So I don't know, I don't know how we are. I, I've never like... Because I've seen you guys in public and you're... I mean, you'll occasionally hold each other's hands. But not, you're not like, parang, uh, no. you're not attached to the hip. No, no, no. Parang, no. It, parang feeling ko, general theme yun sa mga tao dito sa show na to. Kasi yung isa dito, hindi din masyado. Ba't nga ba hindi ka ma-PDA? Oo nga. I don't believe in PDA. Sabi ko parang, you know, ayun na yung parting gift. Yan na yung parting gift ko. Oh, sige, sige. Testing Teddy says, yung totoo din, kailan mo nalaman na si Chico ay kakaiba? <laughs> Medyo weird. Uh, 1997. 1997. Nalaman niya na weird ako. Uh, 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 pala siya. Uh, uh, and uh, Jyoti says, "Kung aapihin namin si Gino, babalik ka ba?" Uh, <laughs> 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 says, uh, "Aside from the Morning Rush DJs, sinong mga DJ ang nag who made a big impact in your life? Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. Because I, I wanted to say this in my farewell. Ano. When I was 19 and I entered at the time campus radio, DW DWLS FM, um, it, was a me it was an industry 
dominated by men. Mm -hmm. And women were not taken seriously, save for a few. But in general, the whole FM band did not did not embrace women. There weren't a lot of women on air. And then I got into DWLS FM. And, uh, the late Fred James, who was the station manager at the time, these are these men were like alpha male. Yeah. But the late Fred James, the trigger man, Milo, yeah. the mole, that's his name, and Master T. All of them welcomed me. I don't know why. And I remember one of them said to me, Come here. I think this will be your career. And I want you to listen to what I have to say. Radio will give you money, but it's very short. And you have to think ahead. Mm -hmm. And you have to expand outside yeah. of radio. I didn't, I forgot that he sat me down. But my point is that. The alpha males sat me down, yeah. and what what a great compliment, what a great thing to do. Oh, and I didn't I didn't know the the value of the impact of what was being what I was going through. But Fred James told me, if I hire you, can you do it? Mm -hmm. And I knew that there was so much respect. I could feel it that he was telling me, you do a good job without even saying the words. And Milo. The, tri uh, the trigger man, I hope he's tuned in or this somehow reaches him. He was so, he was so, such a curmudgeon. He was grouchy and he will shout at you. But when I'm around, he will say, everybody out. Except Del, Del come here. You man the phone. You, you tab tabulate my vote. And I, I, I realized what a great thing that was. Right. And, that they were telling me that this could be your life. Yeah. That we're, and so I would like to thank them. Yeah. So. And siguro, just the last one, na naman mm -hmm. sa diba? Can we just thank Mr. Bobby Ante? Oh well, yeah. Such a nice man. Such a just a generous, generous, generous man. Mm -hmm. So, DJs kasi sila lahat eh. Yeah. And uh, I think they. The, the treatment that I got from them really made an impact. Really, even now, 20 years later, more yeah. than 20 years later, I remember. <coughs> and so, the, a big thank you to them. Um, what about the. Okay, how could this be like your farewell episode without an entry from Young Indy? Yung totoo del, paano mo nalaman na si Mr. White ay si Mr. Wright? Young Indy fashion. He didn't let me go. Ah, so it's not one. It's not one event. It's not one moment. Na parang ah, this is it. Yeah. So nadadala ka pag hindi ka nilalayo. I know where you're going with this. Mm, uh, <laughs> I have an idea. Yeah. Um, Ed uh, Jotty says, "Kung halimbawa." pinigil lang ka ni Chico, hindi ka aalit. Sige, meron din kasi akong sagot dyan. Pero sige. Not that he will, because he won't. He's not like that. Yeah. Yes. But he won't. Kasi yeah. he yeah. knows exactly why. Why you're doing it. Oh, uh, he And knows it. Yun nga, that's why I was, ano rin, na parang, it's also, meron sagot din ako dyan. Kasi nga, you know, we know that we won't do that. Because yeah. you, you know that it's a difficult decision for the person. Yes. Uh, I think that the only... Because I don't have... What? And bring out my do it for me card. My yeah, gosh, that's the worst. Unless you're really <laughs> the worst not the type. Yeah. 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 But in each other's life, we can. Yeah, and that's naman. That's uh, naman. the unique oh, naman. position we have. Just for because it's na naman, it's work, you know. Oh, right, right. But you know, obviously for like pang uh, yeah. life or death situations, I mean, no, obviously, yeah. obviously yes, uh, you know. Pero siguro hindi ko masabi utang na loob. Eh. I don't think we do that. No, 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 no. We don't no, do no, utang no. na loob. Because right? it's so funny that a lot of people ask me, na parang how's that? Na parang you know, will you, what will you do? And what a lot of people don't realize is because they only listen to us on air yeah. is that 
uh, we actually can see each other anytime yeah. we want. Oh, it so, hello, my, my son wants to go to his house all yeah. the time. And they do. Yeah. Like sometimes out of nowhere, they'll just go to the house. Right? Yeah. So, she's still there to use it's her really her just feelings. the on-air component, at least for us too. Mm -hmm. right? it's, just the, yeah. it's just the on-air component that's you know going to be... It's going to end, pero at pero kami, of course, we're, of course we're going to see each other all the time. Oh, well, I'll see you if you move out of here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you move back you know, alam mo, Bea and I had a conversation already on Viber. Because no. I didn't get to say goodbye yeah, to her yeah, yesterday. She, I didn't yeah. think she was coming today. So I told her, oh, okay, I, I forgot to hug you and say goodbye to you. I guess I'll see you in December in Gina's party. I said, I assume I'm going to be <laughs> See you in December. I'll give you a hug. And the top, uh, yung tato Adel comes from Edward Nadurata. Edward says, "What are your plans for August one? Monday. Oh, for August one? For Monday. It's your first working day that you won't be going to work. Wow. <laughs> right? Well, there is work to be done. At home. Mm -hmm. I plan to wake up early, um, make breakfast mm -hmm. for someone. Because uh, Tyler and I start our days the same day. Yeah. I mean, the same, same hour. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a need to make him healthy. We're both fat. We both need to lose the weight. And, and um, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to make sure I'm, I'll be a Hitler when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take the kids mm -hmm. to, I mean, I'll take Cooper to school. Mom stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. no, that's my plan. Okay, so one final batch yes. when we come back so I'll try to get as many questions as I can that I can that I still can uh, when we get back I have a bunch of messages for you by the way okay mm. okay 946 <laughs> Oh my gosh, hello! Mayroon pong delivery ulit, madam. Padala po, from Farview. Farview! Ako malabon! Ako malabon! Malabon dyan! Ang nasa-easy ba? Hi! Luman talaga. Papapicture daw si Marky. Si Marky. Kamay na tayo. Kapit ako yun ang bilhin. Jay, padaanin naman si Marky. May artista ka si... Oo, may artista ka si... Ay! One, two... Sinigalaw mo dyan. Check mo. Hello, hello. Okay na? Hindi, okay. Check mo. Ay, ay. One, two, Oh my god, si Alvin. 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 What do you want? 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 Why would you want to do 
Ang lakas mo ka tatay, sanay na sanay mo. Multitasking tatay. Ganyan yung mga ano eh. <laughs> Kasi Facebook live ng Facebook live. Yung nakakatawa ang commercial. Yung literal na commercial. Ayan ka lang sa ilit eh. Oh, hey. Ay, wey. Hindi naman na lang taong iyak ko. Sweat lens ko. Grabe na yun lang maaga si Jay. Grabe. Sabi ko naman, magtatex ako eh. Grabe. <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> Hindi ko pa na Are you? Pero hindi na daw Sa Tapos wag mo na lang ibigay. on air ka lang ng on Okay, Alvin, are you next? Are you next? Really? Who are you? Yeah. 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 Kasi SG Rusher ka nga pala! Bye bye, see you again. Nice to see you again. What you wish you did? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Say hi. Kita kayo. Sige, sige. Before the last match, you want me to read off the. Yes, please. Yes, there are three messages. Thank <laughs> you. 
Marcelo. Let's try not to cry. Let's try, uh, let's try not to cry. <laughs> Monster RX 93.1, time for our final top 10 with Thanks for making it easy, guys. <laughs> and, uh, well, before we get into that, okay, Gina will read off some some stuff. Okay. Uh, Emo Fats was just saying, Ma'am Delamar, hindi lahat ng rasa ba ding, ha? Oy, baka mamaya may magalit sa akin. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, do I start? Yes. Okay, so there are a few messages from people um, who have at one point been part of your life also. So from Jude, uh, he goes, Hashtag, yung totoo del, is that ikaw lang ang nakapag-drive sa akin in my own car, pa <laughs> That one time after. Oh party. my gosh, that, alam mo, I was so nervous. And he goes, too much fun. Welcome to the fold. Uh, uh, I, <laughs> I just want to tell Jude that when I was new, I was doing, I was a newscaster that they could just, you know, pag may kulang, that's where I go. Whenever I would board for him, I was so scared. Kasi, I knew that I can't be bad or mediocre. You have to be good. Yeah. Ganun si Jude. Eh. Parang, such a presence kasi. Enough that, kaya ko naman pag nagpa-practice ako sa labas. Pagdating ko sa loob, yeah. <laughs> uh, but then I learned to control the nervousness and I think, uh, that's part of what makes uh, DJs who train other DJs good. Yeah. They they know how to elicit the that the best out of you. Want, yeah. Thanks, Drew. Another message from Boom. Uh, to my radio batchmate and friend of 20 years, your start in RX will always remind me of mine. So every year you celebrate another year, so do I. Which means I think that I will be right when I say this. There are many DJs, men and women, who have come and gone, but only a few can truly be considered significant, relevant, and influential. You truly have been, no doubt about that. Sorry I won't get to listen to your last show because of work, but as much as there is sadness all over, I'm more excited for what you and what the future brings for you. I'll see you around and enjoy this moment as much as you can. Love you. Aww. Aww. And then uh, the last one I have is from Fran. Hashtag, yung totoo del, is that I have been in awe with you since the day I met you when we were so, so young. <laughs> you made radio broadcasting look so easy, when in fact, it's more than just playing music and giving laughs. You made radio smart, and your views on life and love and everything else in between influenced so many people, including myself. It's a sad day for radio, and I know you stuck with this as long as you possibly can. But it's time for your next chapter, and it's going to be great. Terrifying, but great. I miss hearing your voice on radio, but I know that I'll get to see you during our wine sessions. Bad mamas for life. <laughs> yeah, bad mamas for life. So there you go. Um, you know, it was really a, it was a different era in, in radio when we started. Yeah. And. Uh, women were starting to come in and I share that space in in history with with Fran and uh, also a lot of people say you know you started the tandem thing but I would also like to say that that's not true there was another DJ before me who was doing a tandem thing in another station and actually I had met her for the first time in 2015 uh, it was Tina Ryan and I told her, you know, so many people think I started this. No, it's you. And uh, you understand then, when you've spent this long on on a radio show, that in as much as you compete, <laughs> you are also you are also your each other's best. Maybe not friend, but yeah. the person who understands the most. Because you do the nobody show. Else will get it. Uh oh, nobody else will get it. And. Uh, Thank you very much to, to the women that I was uh, very fortunate to be uh, uh, what a what a run. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, so quick final batch uh, before uh, we give the floor to Del. Uh, Yung Tata Odell from Ali Martinez. Have you ever kept a secret from Chico, Gino, and Bea that you want to say now? <laughs> <laughs> Si Chico? Wala eh. Wala, actually. <laughs> Oo. Oh, Even yung gusto namin isikret eh. Nalalaman na isa siya. Oo, eh di, wala eh. Kay Gino, wala rin. 
Kasi Bea and I, wala, you know, I, that's one of the things I'm sad about. I won't get to know you as much as I've gotten to know these two. That daily grind na sometimes we're not in the mood or alam mo na may pinagdadaanan whoever. But we, we, we are forced into this pressure cooker of a show and it really forges a friendship whether you like it or not. Maybe you won't choose each other as friends outside of the show, but once you're in the show, you have to be. Wala eh. That's yeah. just the way it is. And aren't we lucky that we don't hate each other? <laughs> I, I felt like every time I would see that, it's like, nagkahabol kami ng kwento. Uh -oh. we <laughs> jump from one topic uh -oh. to another. Parang ano ba madali? Uh -oh. so, yeah. uh, from uh, Maria Juana. Uh, yung totoo dal, <laughs> anong reaction ni Cooper when you told him that you're leaving with the Wonder? Yeah, I, I was preparing him. I told him, baby, I'm going to retire. What? <laughs> you're, you're quitting? I go, yeah. To take care of me and Parker? I go, yeah. Wow. What are you gonna do for money now, Mom? <laughs> smart kid. He's a very smart kid. Uh, and um, Tristan Gaba said, you, you may or may not choose to answer this question. <laughs> Among your co-hosts, who do you think is ready for parenthood? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Chico. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he was ready before me. There are obstacles. <laughs> There are some hindrances, but... Like what? I agree, huh? Uh, financial... Financial <laughs> oh, guy! Ang dami mong... You first had the toys. Yes, you first had the toys. When you finished that, you finished that. Then I thought about that. You can also ask me, you know, to my kids. Then you can go to college. Alter Ego says, a very like logistical question. Do you still attend when there are books? As long as the book has something to do with my time on, because it's like that, right? That's true. So if we were to come up with book four, and the entries that Kiko will choose are from yeah. the time that I was still here, or I am still here, then yes. Because it's like technically, like for book one, when we did the signing, uh, Gino was already like, right? With yeah. us, but kaya at the time that was the, the entries were the from entries the time from that the. I was, yeah. Kaya we couldn't do it pa muna na, na Chico. Ate, galing. ganun lang. Gawin natin, every book, may isang page from like 2000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, every book sign. Oh. Sabi ko sa inyo, he finds ways. Yeah. Eh. Mimi Mark, oh, sige, last ano to ah. Not, not last question, pero last uh, intriguing question for them. Sino ba talaga yung pinakatatago-tago mong celebrity crush? Ah. Dito, look up for it. Talaga? Alam mo, okay, FYI, she's never told us. I know, I don't know. You don't I don't know. know. And we know everything about well, each other. Well, if you guys don't know, I definitely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ayaw niya talagang sabihin, I am so curious. No, but I, I think it's because she's smart enough to know that once we know, somebody out there will know. Oh, nga. Very intense. Ayo nang sabi. Ayo nang talaga nang sabi. Oh, so kung kano? Siyono yung celebrity crush ni Chico. Yeah, na. Next one. It's not my secret. Ah, Nong's kisses. Saan ka sa Fairview para madalo? Lapit ako sa mall. And the top. Yung totoo del comes from Pajimakas. Pajimakas. Pajimakas says, Looking back, remember how you told us you would talk to your egg cells before? Oh, yeah. How does it feel now that two of them are talking back to you? I wish they'd shut up. They are such, it's a treasure. I get mushy when it comes to the kids because I. My heart is full. Mm -hmm. um, when I knew that I was leaving the show in July, I talked to Chico. Sabi namin, originally it was July 8th, it was my last day. And I said, oh, wait, bad trip yun. The 20th anniversary will not get its proper attention and celebration if I'm if I were to leave. Yeah, we were July. supposed to announce it that day, yeah. and we were like, parang bad trip yun. <laughs> <laughs> bad trip. Yun. So we moved it to the last day of July, which is today. I mean, for me. 
And um, yung sinasabi ko? Um, <laughs> yung sinasabi ko, kaya tapang napit na 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 napit I would wake up in the afternoon from a nap and I'm <laughs> parang, I don't know what's wrong. Parang sa movie, so. uh, oh, and I, I felt like something was going to go wrong. Like what am I gonna do now? What's gonna happen to me? Um what will I do? How will I earn my living? These are the questions that one asks when you're leaving. But then Parker comes into the room. And for as long as I I'm carrying him feels so safe. Yeah. That's wild. Like, he's just a kid. Yeah. He can't protect me. And usually it's the other way around. Ah. Uh, uh, the kids that feel safe. <coughs> and I think that he does that maybe because he's a kid and he's a baby and he can't talk. Yeah. And Cooper just is more verbal. Yeah. So he talks about, you know, he talks about you, yeah. mostly Chico, <laughs> you know, and he asks if we can still go to our next. <laughs> he asks like, but can we still visit them? I go, yes, but not, I mean, not not as often as we used to. And you know, we will get in the way of their jobs. So I think maybe we'll just visit them in their house. So. Um, and may ano? May 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 follow up ano lang? May follow up question from from Kite Nix. Uh, a attend ka ba sa last episode ni Chico? we would have gone you know together I would never have thought of resigning uh, by myself that was my plan ah, okay then I'll also go even if I don't have anywhere to go I'll go yeah just because I don't know how to do a show without him. Mm-hmm. But then what do you say? Makes what sense. do you do? But then, and this is not a normal radio show you and I yeah. have done. I mm-hmm. mean, it's something something very special. So it was it was quite hard. But I will be here when on your last day. The way that you are on my last day you're here. And uh, before you play your last song, so what are your Why what look final final stuff? Okay. Your last words on. Oh. Oh. Wow. You know what I mean? Then, uh, okay, so uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Koji Morales. Oh, <laughs> nah. He was the one who I guess recommended me to the yes. bosses to You're be right. the fill in mm-hmm. girl. Yeah. Uh, they could have gotten anybody, I guess. And he was the one, Del, what are you doing? I got nothing. I just sent out my resume. Nobody's called me yet. You want to earn money? I go, yeah. I, I can't ask about one from my parents. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, come come to the station. You'll, we'll audition and then uh, we need a new girl. I go, okay. So if it weren't for him. That's true. I would never have had this job. I would have. Um, Your yeah. 20 year summer job. Yeah. <laughs> I thank the, the, the jocks whom I met at the beginning of my radio life. So I, that's already done. I would like to thank advertisers. Yeah. Uh, the air that we sell on, on radio is only valuable because of what people do in that air. Yeah. Because otherwise, all stations would burn the same. So, uh, making the show what it is, is, a, is you, that's a work of art. And you will hear that in all, like, all shows of RX, that people are doing, creating something, an energy. Uh, and thank you to the advertisers for thinking that that thing we do is sellable. That's true. <laughs> you know, com- also the RX sales team and the advertisers, this show would not exist if there wasn't money fueling it. Mm-hmm. And so, through the years that you have supported the show, thank you very much, mm-hmm. RX sales team and the advertisers. I would like to say a special thanks to Smart Parenting. Mm-hmm. Because I felt uh, when I had become a mother, I was so unsure of my position in the industry. I felt like uh, something had been breached. Like, well, people won't like you anymore. You're you're in a in a in a in an industry where youth is uh, the premium, 
but yeah, sorry, but they kept asking me for things that like to to feature me, and I said, oh wow, maybe I'm not done. Maybe you know, maybe there is something to say, and I would like to thank them for at the time that I felt unsure. Thank you for for making me feel worthy again. I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, to be young. I would like to thank the bosses of RX for taking a chance on a um, 22 year old girl who didn't know anything. A Gabby girl. A Gabby, a Gabby girl. girl on the radio. She wasn't even a math comp student. So thank you so much to our bosses and uh, thank you for thinking of pairing me up with Chico. Mm -hmm. Thank you for putting me on the morning rush. And changing my life for the better. Thank you. Thank you to the whole team of RX, from our traffic, our finance, to admin, uh, to our event, to our technicians, most especially. Yes. yes. Our technicians. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kuya Albert, sayang, I want to see you. That talaga si Bert ibe. Yeah. You know, there's a. I I, I want to thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew you earlier. I wish uh, I wish I could be there in your radio life. But I will be there but on the other side. And if you ever need me, I don't think you will, but if you need me, you know where to get me, you know where to contact me. <laughs> uh, to Gino. <laughs> Listen to your mom. <laughs> Don't give her that. Um, just a big thank you for adding another spice to the show. That uh, for invading our world and for making sure that we were more fun, that we were more tech savvy, that we were dancing, uh, that we were doing. A lot of things that we wouldn't have done if you hadn't been here. Um, just keep on keeping on. Um, the cheat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You will you will ease your yourself away from me and I won't let you <laughs> and I want to say to you too I you need to give your heart on the show and I'm not here to force it. You you have you feel so much but you kid around and I don't want you to hide because the things you feel are what people feel, mm. but they they need to see the other side of you because they think you're funny, mm. but you're not just that. I know you. You're my friend. Every heartbreak, I've been in front of you falling apart. Naginis ka na sa akin na kailan ba matututo? And uh, I don't think I've ever had a friend like you in the in my life in my life, and I'm so scared that that will change now that. <laughs> We don't have radio to keep us together even when we don't want to be together because we're fighting. The radio always brought us together. It's true. Radio always made sure that we held our hands. We went through and faced the world when the world hated us. When the world loved us, when they ignored us, we were we were there for each other. And I, I, I'm so scared that you will not be my friend anymore. Are not as close as we have become, so I will bug you, <laughs> and I will make sure that Cooper will bug you so that you cannot get away from us. And it's true that um, when we fight, like a lot of the time, the only thing that will make us talk to each other again is because we have to do the show. And it's really like that's what a lot of people don't realize, and you don't hear the fights on air, the real. The real non-funny fights, uh -uh. yeah. But uh, that is really like the thing that snaps us out of it, and um, it's really the show. 
uh, lastly, to the listener, I don't know what I did to deserve this kind of love from you guys. I I don't know you, the kindness you have shown me um, when I first announced that I was pregnant with Cooper and, yes. you know, things were scary. Instead of judgment, I was so surprised that people were so accepting and so supportive. It was so wild. I thought that people would say, you know, they will judge you because of, you know, it's not it's not a nice thing to happen to a girl. And you accepted me, you supported me, you like my child. How, how is that possible? And then I went through a very difficult time with my second baby and you have no idea how many people reached out to me. And just hearing it, just knowing that people are sending kindness towards you and you don't know them how is that possible that i i am here and even now that i'm saying goodbye for a week people have been sending me messages ray agabai jedi master maui uh so many on on the facebook page of the morning rush on twitter i am such a lucky girl to have had this great thing for so long so I would like to thank you so much. I could never, wala walang words na na pwedeng other than thank you. And uh, I hope that I can be with you again in some form or another. But know that if you ever need me, I'm just one feet away, and I am not beyond. Uh, if you need me to talk, actually, one rusher came to my house. <laughs> advice and uh, we we had coffee. So. Uh, thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart to all the guests that we've had uh, Wow Wow Grateful. Thank you very much. Please take care of, of the morning rush <laughs> to the listeners uh, Make sure these two will, they will not say yet But they will need your support on Monday and then the more support you give them less and less They will need it and then they'll be back and maybe not miss me <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have anything to tell me before I go? Love you! 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 Born in the same month? October 14th and October 16th. And it's so weird, but like every time she says something, I, I just un yeah. I understand weird. what she means. It's weird. And then she keeps saying that it's like I'm looking at the younger, you know. And even Chico told me one time, I just kind of like your dad like a couple of years ago. And yeah. I was like, really? And yeah. then I don't know. And I just, I'm so thankful. So, so, so thankful that I got to at least grasp a bit of right before you left. Because this. I tweeted, that you're irreplaceable. There is no one like you, Dad. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
couple of when you had announced it on Friday, uh, one of the former RX jocks had a status message about it, and I started to realize that most of the ridiculously strong, independent, and and amazing women that I know actually came from RX, and I grew up with two older brothers. I never had sisters, and. Um, <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> and you know, in 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 my time here in RX, I've been lucky enough to to, to be to be introduced to to the closest thing that I could get to having you know older sisters in my life. And <laughs> like I'm older. Has to be said. Has to be said. But you know, I, I I make fun of your your age, both of you all the time. But but when I say older sister, it's not it's not to make fun of your age. It's more of like because I learned so much from you guys, and in terms of not just work, because I think it's pretty given among that I learned a lot from you guys in terms of that, in terms of being professional, because you know I'm not very professional. <laughs> um, but just in terms of being a good human being, um, I learned a lot from both of you in terms of. And just, just how to be a, a decent human being. I don't let you guys know this enough, but you guys are two of the nicest. Two, kaya yung tula ay siya. You guys are two of the nicest people, if not the nicest people I know in radio. And I know, I know that like. So far away, eh. so I don't, oh, I, 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 eh. honestly don't think I'll get Kaya to see that often. Car mo yun. Kaya naman, and, and, but you know how I get awkward around kids. And, you know, hopefully, in the future, maybe when I have kids of my own, I won't. Yeah. Oh. Man, you're letting me open up on air. I don't like it. <laughs> um, but you, you, in 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 way more than just work, you have transcended into one of the closest friends I have. I don't like saying it because you know I don't like dealing with emotions. I know, um, I know. I don't like having to voice them out either because I just don't like the way it feels. But man, this is your last day on air, and then it's it's gonna. I don't know. I won't. <laughs> um, I'm sure my mom is making fun of me now. <laughs> emotions are a sign of weakness. But I just want to thank you for. For one, um, not giving me a hard time when I joined, you know, one of the most established shows out there. Um, two for, for you know being accepting. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy at all, considering like you guys were doing a show for 15 years and all. Yeah. You know, in comes this ridiculously good-looking guy. <laughs> He's trying to steal your man. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm 100% sure it wasn't easy for you to, to sort of adjust to having another person there, but I just wanted to thank you for that. And it's, it's a sad day, it is, but I also know why why it's not sad because I know that this is really what you wanted and I'm sure that you know more than the amount of laughter that this show brings you there's a certain level of of happiness that can never be achieved by being here and what you're gonna be doing next is that one thing that will give you just that and so I wish you all the best and again thank you thank you Gina thank you Ben well, for me, um, I think it's really like we're saying goodbye to one aspect mm. of, of our That's relationship. Yeah. You know, it's 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 the on air. Um, that's why I try not to say goodbye because, mm. unlike what you said, uh, I don't have plans of disappearing, and uh, <laughs> that's why I guess it's. You know, a lot of people like are probably wondering, parang, you know, people are falling apart and they're saying, you know, there's nobody who will probably be more affected than I am. But I guess 
I am very comfortable with the, with the idea that uh, unless you eventually move to another country <laughs> but, that we will be very much part of our uh, of each other's lives I mean we've gotten to that point where it's not even negotiable anymore if we're going to be friends or not I mean it's already a given you know it's like uh, even my even my family considers you. Means and may family dinner kami. Oh, asan si Del? Para bakit inimbita pa natin? I mean, you know, I mean, we're already part of each other's lives. So, of course, that that aspect, the professional aspect, is very difficult. I mean, what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, uh, as far as the show is concerned, we're like co-parents. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, it's very difficult for me to say goodbye to you on the professional side, but at the same time, I know naman that you're going to be pretty much a part of my life. And the things that I will never admit to anyone, mm. I have admitted to you. <laughs> and, and not just what people think, even the really ugly, difficult parts of life we have shared. So that part is, all, is untouchable, so I'm not really sad about that because that is already there but I guess uh, one of our favorite songs I'll just end with you know it sums up what we've been through uh, it's uh, it's from Wicked <laughs> so who can say if I've been changed for the better but because I knew you I have been changed for the better. and uh, it basically sums up our relationship yep Bahala na kayo ko sino si Glinda. <laughs> but, but yeah. And I really remember, I distinctly remember when the first time you watched it, when you went to the States, you were telling me all about it, forcing me to listen to it. And I just refused it. I'm like, what's this thing that Del wants me to? She will invite me that she will drive, drive. which we oh. never want to, only to play, you know these songs and specifically this song she would make me listen to and I'm like why is she forcing me to do that and then I finally watched it and I'm like oh, oh. <laughs> I get it and it does speak very much for our relationship so for for that I refuse to say any thank you or any goodbye on a personal level because it's still an ongoing thing but as far as the morning rush is concerned um, it was a good run and I wouldn't have gone through it with anyone else. So thank you. Yay! Yes! Okay, thank you. Let's go to the wedding. Let's go to the wedding. Let's go to the wedding. Thank you to everybody. Can, can you guys say hello? Hello! Yeah. Thank you for all um, the time. Love you, Dad. Love you, Time out. I know you guys are busy. Everybody looks like they need to be somewhere, but thank you. Special. Thank you very much uh, to Tyler, to Cooper, and to Just be prepared because there may withdrawal symptoms. So they could have been nakikin gan ka for 20 years, and all of a sudden you're home. Uh, thank you for giving, uh, for taking me away from radio. Not because of anything, but because it's something so personal, and now I, w I really want to do a good job at being a mom. And I can almost imagine you, Cooper Parker, sit down. We are doing the top 10! <laughs> 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 Thank you to everybody for your attention. Thank you for listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm gonna play this last song. Yes. And then we'll play the. I hope the goodbye song is. Yes. Yeah. I think it's. Right. Is it still here? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll look for it. If not, you can just sing it live. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or you but can sing it. Gina. One of my one of my favorite songs from a band that we had met. Thank you to RX for you know uh, making sure that we meet artists that we we love yeah. and. Uh, I'm not going away, I'm just going away from radio. You can always tweet me, you can see me around, say hello. Um, so I'll play a song from Vertical Horizon. Oh. I'm here. Thank you so much everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Delamore for the morning run. Yeah. Bye guys. See you on Monday. <laughs> Hindi na siya maayos na balon.
Do you know that you remember the, uh, no, the, the, you remember the oh. label? Stop the stream. No, no. Stop the stream.